Hey everybody, uh, this is Mike Boggs, Striker System Sales Manager, and I wanted to do a, a feature video for you, but I'm going to do it a little bit different this time, and that I'm going to do it totally off the cuff. I um, haven't rehearsed this or anything, there's just a feature that I've been meaning to uh, get to and haven't done it, so uh, we'll just run through it real quick. And this is actually one of our uh, SS Design 2D drafting features and we have a lot of customers that still use that as a primary design tool uh, and a lot of customers that use it uh, as they need to edit or modify geometry that they import and this this command that I wanted to cover is the auto modify command and I know we have customers that could probably use this but don't know the full capability of what it can do for you or even that it exists for that matter uh, so I'm going to first create some geometry so we can go in and have something to modify and rather than just inserting a part we'll just draw one real quick so I'm going to create a rectangle and we'll just do a 6 by 6 rectangle I'm going to do an insertion point relative to the lower left corner and at this point uh, I could just pick a point on the screen but just so I get it at my 0 0 point I'll just type in that coordinate and now we'll make some edits to this so I'm going to use a corner notch and let's do like a three inch by three inch corner notch which we'll do here and I'm also going to do a chamfer uh, which I could do this chamfer I can either do my uh, setback on each side or if I wanted to go to a setback and designate an angle I can do that uh, in this case we'll designate we want to come back two inches and two inches is fine drop these in here so we're making a little L-shaped bracket of some type. And now I'm going to drop, uh, drop a couple of holes in here. So I'm going to go initially into doing a slot. And in here, so I'll do, um, I can select from a list of available sizes or I can type one in. But we'll do a two by quarter inch slot. Um, and I'm going to do that relative to the center point. So uh, I'm also turning on this relative placement. Now what that does is just rather than having me just pick a point on the screen it's going to ask me to pick a point that will become the base point from which I will designate an offset. So we'll do that and I could just come off zero zero but let's say that I know the dimension off of here we'll pick this as a base point. So we're going to bring that over two inches in the X and up half inch in the Y place that and now we'll do a round hole and we'll just grab half inch round hole and do a relative placement on that as well also coming off of this point so with the round hole we'll go over say three and a quarter in the X and up two and a quarter in the Y place a half inch hole uh, and then I'll just mirror that pattern so I'll come over and grab a mirror command select those objects and we'll designate a mirror line from that midpoint up to this point so we've just created a small little bracket now to show you how the auto modify command works let's say that uh, I've had an engineering change and I need to change the length of this slot for example so I can use auto modify and auto modify lets me change geometry just based on the uh, the feature the orientation of the geometry what type of geometry it is so any standard features like uh, one of the holes or a notch uh, tab something like that so if I were to select these objects it brings me back into the uh, same dialog similar to when I created it but now I can go in and edit that geometry so here we'll do a uh, we'll make this two and a quarter and I'm gonna pick this end saying I want it to remain stationary so we'll extend it out this way Okay, so that now becomes two and a quarter inches. Uh, we'll do the same thing here with this hole, currently a half inch. Let's back that off and make it three eighths, but this time I'm going to select update similar shapes, which means if I have multiples of those, I could select those as well and update multiple shapes at the same time. Um, and like this notch right here, so I'll use the same command, select those objects that make up that notch shows me what the notch size is and we'll adjust this and make it say two and a half by two and a half okay so give you an idea of some of what the auto modify command is capable of um, if you haven't used that command you might want to explore that a little bit 
and see what it can do for you. And while we're in here, we might as well go ahead and dimension this. So I'm going to select the auto dimension function. And I'm going to select a standard, which is just a, one of the styles that I have set up. And we'll throw a window around that. And there we have our dimension part. So I hope you found this information useful. If we can be of assistance to you at all, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. Thanks again.